YouTube, what's going on? It's your boy Concise the Barber. We are back with another video. We will be doing a haircut with the Bevel Pro Clipper and Trimmer All in One. And I want to give a different type of hair texture into this video. You know, I don't know if you guys know, but a lot of people in the in the barber industry they say that bevels, uh, clippers, and the trimmers is mainly just made for black people black culture and everything like that yes it is own it is a black owned company but don't get it twisted these things can cut all different types of hair so this is why i'm honestly making this video i wanted to show you guys the performance of these clippers and trimmer um on straight hair and how well it it comes out now i'm balding it out uh straight with the clipper uh completely closed And behind that, I use my Andis, my Andis shavers. I forget the exact name of these, but I do love these shavers. These, these are my favorite shavers right now. Um, like I said to y'all before, I have not used the FX3 shaver. So for all those that are uh, FX3 shaver uh, fans, um, I can't speak much about that shaver because I haven't tried it out yet. But for me right now, if that is the best one out, I can probably say this is probably right under that. Other than speaking of Braun, Braun is a whole different uh, shaver. But these right here for the barbershop, definitely my go-to's. I did want to bring out the apex just real quick just to take down the bulk now i am not saying that the bevels cannot take down bulk but the guard i have here i do not believe bevel came with a five guard so i believe this is a five the rest i'm going to use with the bevels so if there's one thing you probably you guys are probably going to say something about the bevels is that they don't have all the guards i think it's all up to a four guard but i mean it depends on what you're trying to do with them so you guys are going to see a nice blended fade ball fade with the bevel pros so that's why i'm that's how i'm using them in this video so let me know y'all thoughts in the comment section let me know what y'all think but me personally i do like them they're definitely this is going to sound interesting these clippers are a vibe uh, and what i mean by a vibe i mean that you're not rushing you don't have a lot of back-to-backs and you just really just want to take your time you know uh just giving a, a nice clean fade and you can do that with these i hope that makes sense to somebody out there Fading down to me is still uh, a great technique to to learn. Um, I have a few videos when I'm fading down, but um, there's nothing wrong with fading up. It's more so preference, but I honestly feel like um, fading down helps you like um, it helps you with your eye, that barber's eye. That's just me though. Let me know what y'all think. And I think right under this, I use a uh, one guard. And I noticed, um, I kind of learned how to use these really efficient. <clears throat> Excuse me. I learned how to use these efficient. Now, with the Bevel Pros, if you've seen my, um, if you haven't seen my review, you should check it out. But in the review, um, I talk about how you, you can push a button and the lever and the cutting blade goes, moves up or down. And I figured out exactly when to do that so I would not lose time on cutting hair. Um, most of the times when I'm just about finished doing everything with a two or one, whatever guard I'm using, and I'm combing that area out, 
I in right in that moment as I'm combing, I'm already adjusting the, the cutting blade. I'm already moving it up to cut closer. So that that being said, I'm really not taking that much time out of my regular time using any other type of clipper other than these. Once you mess with these a lot more, just try them. If you have them, try them out for like a whole week first. You will kind of see like how you can adjust. I mean, we've been adjusting to all different types of clippers on all the new ones coming out anyway. So this is just a different type of a way how to cut. It's not for everybody, but if you do have them, you want to try them out, give them a good try before you make your opinion on them because these things can cut and they cut well. And I believe I'm about to be done with the one guard and I'll be ending with the zero guard. The zero guard, I like ending up with the zero guard because to me, it's the easiest guard to, uh, to do any type of tweaking on a fade or adjusting a fade or corrections and all that jazz for, for me though. And right now I have it on and I'm all the way up there and I'm just using the back of the, of the guard it's, it's hard to explain. I, I really have to go in detail about that, but I ha have it angled in a way that I'm not digging deep into the skin. That's why I can go so high with the, with the zero guard. But the zero guard is the finish guard. Now, I know y'all probably wonder where I'm standing on this area for so long, but do understand that when you have people that have certain indents in their head or the shading of their hair is more dense in a certain area, you have to tweak it differently, differently or you have to take out more time to focus on the area to really see uh, what you're doing and how it looks. You know, the fade, make sure that it looks blended all around uh, the right way. So. 
I do take a, I do take a little bit of time focused on certain areas. If I feel like the hair is more dense and dense or anything like that, I will take out that time to tweak that area. And while I have this blade on, might as well start fading out the beard. That's what my client wanted, so that's what we do. Now I'm using the, the trimmer blade of the, I'm using a trimmer now. Well, I'm using a trimmer blade now. And as you guys see, um, interesting, interestingly enough, these can be real sharp or these cannot hit at all, um, which is the fact that you can move the cutting blade. So you really give your client the option of how uh, strong you want it to be for them. So for me, I have it, I have it close, but not all the way close. Um, but bevel for me, it always cut, it always cut hair good, like real short hair. So I never really had a problem with bevel and their cutting blades at all, especially their trimmer blades, not at all. Like if anything, sometimes it can cut too sharp, but this one right here, it cuts pretty well. And I'm gonna show you, and I, I'm gonna tell y'all, I'm probably do another video on why um, using a bevel blade, using a bevel trimmer is like very beneficial. Um, not just for, you know, sharp, clean outlines, but also just for uh, your clients. Uh, just looking out for your clients, basically. I'm gonna do a video on why I feel like bevel blades are probably one of the best material uh, blades out there. And I'm gonna line up the front just a little bit. And he does have that light spot. We're not going to fill that in or anything. We're going to keep that natural. And um, we're just going to go straight across. Not too much, but just just enough. Now I believe we have the two guard. I'm just trimming the beard down. He didn't want it to have his beard hair is just going crazy on the side. So we laid it down with, I believe a two guard. Now this is not the bevel pro. This is just the bevel. No, this is the bevel pro. Now look, when I set it closer, look how well it cuts the beard hair. Now that's one thing I feel like uh, Bevel mastered when it came to like neck hair. B the Bevel clippers and trimmers they 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 plow through neck hair, and that's one of the most roughest areas on people. So that that tells you a lot on what they kind of focus on. I honestly will have to give it to Babelis and Bevel when it comes to the neck area. Everybody else I feel like can struggle a little bit, but those two companies they don't. Now we're gonna clean them up with the razor. And then um, I'm gonna show you all the finishing touches. And that's that. This definitely wants you guys to see how well um, Bevel Pro can perform. There's not that many videos on, on uh, the Bevel Pro trimmers and clippers, like a tutorial. Definitely just wanna show you guys what the outcome can look like using this clipper and trimmer combo. But this is the finishing touch, y'all. I'm gonna show you guys the before. And this is the after. Please let me know what you guys think. Leave a comment in the comment section. Please give it a like, thumbs up, all that jazz. Always just make sure that you guys are staying in tune with the channel. And uh, y'all have a blessed one. Thank y'all for watching.